Markup is a Windows machine that contains a misconfigured HTTP server, which reveals the SSH key. You can find out more about these next. Enumeration As always, we begin by scanning the target for open ports. The scan shows port 22 TCP open, which seems to be running OpenSSH for Windows 8.1. Port 80 TCP, Apache 2.4.4. Port 443 TCP running which means the website contains a secure shell protocol. Let's navigate to the web page using the Mozilla Firefox browser. The web page features the landing page for an online shopping company. A login screen is presented to us. A username and password are being requested. Let's try to attempt some default credentials for the mega shopping service to get login access. Let's try to log in with some default credentials like admin, admin, administrator, administrator, admin, administrator, admin, password. After manually attempting, we land on a successful login. The correct combination is admin password now we are presented with the customer store panel foothold the website has some basic functionality that allows you to place orders start burp suite and capture the request if we capture the request and take a look at it with burp we can see that the data is processed in xml format furthermore let's try if there is an xxe xml external entity vulnerability that exists or not. An XML external entity attack is a type of attack against an application that parses XML input. This attack occurs when XML input containing a reference to an external entity is processed by a weakly configured XML parser. This attack may lead to the disclosure of confidential data, denial of service, server-side request forgery, port scanning from the perspective of the machine where the parser is located and other system impacts. You can find out more about this by searching on Google and reading the article. So, now, we can perform an XML injection, XXE external entity injection, attack to receive the contents of the win.ini file. Now send this to repeater using control plus R. Our assumption was true. It reveals that the web server contains XXE vulnerability. From the Nmap scan, we confirmed that the port 22 SSH server is running on the Windows server. What if I found user details then probably we could find out the SSH key. I found a user denial from the source code of the web page. So change the code and give the SSH path where the key is stored. The SSH private keys are usually stored in C user's username. SSHIDRSA. We got an open SSH private key code. So, I grabbed the key and saved it in a file called IDRSA using a nano text editor. Make sure to change the file permissions to 400.
you can do that using chmod. So next we try to SSH to the server with Daniel's key. You can find out the user flag from the desktop. Privilege Escalation Escalating the privilege is quite easy. You just need to upload the wimpeas.exe file to the desktop and then execute. Which will automatically reveal the administrative username and password. Let's see how it works. Previously, I have a copy of the wimpeas.exe file on the htdocs of the XAMPP server. Now, start the Apache server. Switch back to the SSH shell and run a PowerShell command. Now it load WinPEAS using wget. Now run this tool. It will take time, so keep yourself warm. Now scroll up and you can find out the password from the administrator. We have now an administrator username and password, so let's get connect with SSH. You can find out the root flag from the desktop. Paste both flags to hack the box. Before that you have to solve all the problems that can be found in my blog. If you have any doubts or queries on my video, then write me a comment in my comment section. See you soon.